The theater is the only institution in the world which has been dying for 4,000 years and has never succumbed. It requires tough and devoted people to keep it alive. That's a quote from John Steinbeck. And nowhere is this tireless energy, commitment, and resilience more apparent than in the theater programs in our schools. Thanks, Ms. Faye, for taking the time to do this. Of course. I love the Educational Theater Foundation, and I was a thespian, just like you. You know, if I may be so bold, you might be interested to know that I'm kind of referred to as the Tina Fey of my high school. Oh, really? That's so cool. Do you, do you like to write? No, I wear glasses and went to the prom by myself. Okay, oh, okay, well, I, I did not go to prom by myself, thank you. There were seven of us in the limo. Three couples and... Okay, you know what? Moving on. When the pandemic hit, teachers all over the world had to deal with learning new ways to educate their students. Theater teachers, however, had to deal with even more challenges as their lessons by nature require close interaction and many times contact. In the past months, rather than throw in the towel and hunkering down, schools all across the country have led the way by incorporating and championing new technology into our classic art form. Through advances in streaming, school theater programs have reached families and audiences all over the world and shown the future of theater. And the future is brighter than ever. And I had a good time at my prom. I took a picture alone. I look amazing. <laughs>